Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavitz Chaim. And he writes like this, Even though that we explained and we demonstrated the Kabbalist Lashon Hara, the Hainala Hachli Belibo Shadav Emes, that accepting Lashon Hara means that you conclude in your heart that that which you have heard is true. Asam in Torah, that we know, of course, is forbidden according to the Torah. Nevertheless, Amr Chazal, Chazal told us the Lachish boy. you are still allowed to be Lachish, to be suspicious that maybe what you heard is possibly true. Uber Adavar, and what is the explanation of this thing? For example, let's say that Ruvain tells Levi something that is negative about Shimon. Ditzarech lekabal es Adavar bederech hashash ba'alma. So Levi is only allowed to suspect that which he told, said about Shimon is true. Meaning if he wants to guard himself from getting damaged by Shimon or the like, he's allowed to do such a thing. He should not suffer any damage from Shimon at all. However, Nevertheless, even though that Levi now is choysha, she's suspicious that maybe what he heard about Shimon is true, he's only allowed to be, it's only allowed to be a suffolk. He can only consider this in a doubtful way. Because really, halacha requires that we look at the person in question in what's called a cheskes kashus, that he is, as far as I know, a good person, an upstanding person, Unless I have a proof otherwise, the fact that uh, the fact that Reuven told me something negative about Shimon is not a definitive proof that he's a he's a bad person. But for that, I could be chayshish. I could be concerned. And therefore, in our case over here, Levi is still obligated to be nice to Shimon. Lishar Nashim Yisrael. Whatever the Torah says, you have to do nicely to other Jewish people. For example, lending money, give, doing stalker, doing chesed and the like, you're still going to be obligated to do to Shimon over here. Because the reputation of Shimon should not be diminished in our eyes at all because of the Lashon Hara that unfortunately we had to hear. Raksha, again, we're allowed to be chayshish. Raksha Torah hitir lachosh lalish nabisha. The Torah says you're allowed to be mindful and be suspicious that perhaps what you heard about Shimon is true. Linyin lishmar as atzmai, in order to guard yourself, v'yasacher mimenu, to guard other people from him as well. You heard that Shimon is very, very cunning and very uh, deceiving in business. So you're about to make a business deal with him. You can listen to the words and be chayshin. Maybe it's true. And if you have a friend that you know is about to go into business with Shimon, you can tell him, listen, I, I heard something about Shimon. Maybe you need to investigate it yourself to find out. Might not be such a wise decision. But you're not allowed to believe it as if it's true. You're only being suspicious and care and cautious that, that there might be truth to what is being said. The Alkein Kosva Paiskim, and therefore the Paiskim, the Halachic authorities write, the Mashemut Elachosh, this, that you are allowed to be Chayshesh, that you're allowed to be suspect, that it might be true. Hainu Heichosh, Yucha Lavani, the Hezig Loyalach, and that's only when you or others could suffer harm at the hands of Shimon. Im Lo Yachosh, if you would not pay heed and you would not be suspect about what was said. However, this, in a case where you're concerned that somebody else is going to suffer harm, requires a very broad and deep explanation. You'll take a look at the Be'er Ma'im Chaim, we'll come on Bechelik Be'ez Bechlal Tes, we'll see later on in the Sefer, um, where he speaks about it more in detail. Ayin Sham, Hetiv, take a look over there very well. Kisham Narchi Bezebes Hashem, because over there I'm going to explain better what is being said, which means it's not so simple. If you know that something, that you know something about a person and you are suspect yourself, it's not so simple. You can just go right away and share it 
with somebody else, but we'll see the details when you could have Abin in Acher. But in any other matters, Asa Lachush, the Lashon Hara, will Amin al Klal, you're not allowed to listen at all to the Lashon Hara or give it any credence and believe it at all. It's only in this case when you might be saving yourself from being damaged, that's where you're allowed to be chayshish, you can be suspect. But in other cases, where there's no damage coming your way, somebody's just speaking nasty, lashonar about somebody else, you are not allowed to believe it at all. Have a wonderful day.